Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm yours, Chris. Thank you so much for joining me once again for another beer review. And guess what, guys? Today we are looking at another West Coast double IPA. This one's from Ballast Point, one of my personal favorites of Sculp and Fame. This one was just bottled, though. This is their Dorado double IPA coming in at 10% alcohol by volume, so verging on that triple level. This one is mash hopped, kettle hopped, and dry hopped, so hopped out the ass like a West Coast IPA should be. This was previously a draft only, tap house only. There's a limited run, so get it if you can. I'm psyched about this one. Let me get into a glass that you guys know it smells, tastes, and give me the final verdict on the Dorado double IPA. All right, guys, so the appearance in the Double Dorado, it's that classic, classic West Coast Double IPA, golden orange with yellow, kind of golden hues in the curves of the glass, nice carbonation. Coming off the bottom there, a slight haziness to it. There is some particulate floating around in there. I don't know if that's hop leftovers or bottle condition. Um, there was about a finger to two fingers of a bright white, kind of fluffy, foamy head on there. Dissipating pretty quickly at 10%, I would expect that though. Nice lacing, definitely some alcohol legs on this one. Again, just a classic looking double IPA. All right, the aroma, double Dorado. Wow, big kind of dank, sweet fruits. There's pineapple, papaya, mango, a little bit of lemongrass. A little bit of an astringency, you know, that I know you guys hate to hear it, but like a cat pee kind of smell to it. There's a slight kind of peppery spiciness in there, a slight kind of bready sweetness, but just a big, dank, kind of tropical smelling beer. Really, really nice stuff. All right, guys, so the taste on the Double Dorado. Cheers. Yeah, I mean, it lives up to what I would expect. Right at the front of the tongue, a massive, just assault of bitterness. Getting a little bit of that tropical kind of uh, papaya and mango juice in there. Middle of the mouth, nice bready, nice, nice kind of sweet, sugary, syrupy sweetness in there to play off that bitterness in the front of the tongue. Also getting more of that mango and tropical fruit, a little bit of peach, a little bit of like an orange peel in there as well. Um, the finish on this one's really strange. At first, it's super dry, but as you kind of drink more of it, it becomes more of a sweeter finish aftertaste. Oh boy, my mouth is watering. There's like a, a lemony kind of tartness to it, an orange, a stringency, definitely massive amounts of stringency the more you drink of it. Um, 10%, you do taste the booziness a little bit. You do feel it in the throat and feel it throughout the mouth a little bit, but really, really helps to cut some of that bitterness in there. It is a massive, massive West Coast IPA, exactly what I would expect from it. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Double Dorado from Ballast Point, limited edition, 10% alcohol by volume. Guys, I'm going to give this one an A, and really what I have to say to you is if you like Sculpin, this thing is like Sculpin on crack. Huge astringency, huge tropical flavors, a nice kind of malty, bready sweetness to really help kind of blend the overall flavors together. 10%, definitely a sipper, but at the same time, it's refreshing. Well, I guess if you're a hophead at least. So just really, really great stuff. Exactly what I would expect from a San Diego-based brewery doing a massive double IPA, and it lives up to exactly your expectations. Just really, really great stuff, and I definitely recommend you guys try it. Get it now, get it while it's fresh. It's not going to last long. So with that said, folks, remember, life is too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.